88, yeah. uh, it wasn't even, uh, I don't think it's the, the 80 years, I think we're looking at the 100 year mark, but that's just me, I'm not going to try to set dates. Okay. Heaven and earth shall pass away, okay? but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Okay? Listen here. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Okay? The rapture's not going to be at all like what he's about to describe here. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and they knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Well, that's not how the rapture's going to be. The world's not going to get wiped out <laughs> by a flood. Okay? Then shall two be left in the field. One shall be taken and another shall be left. Oh, that's the rapture. That's the... Yeah, that is the tribulation rapture. You've got to pay attention to what it's saying. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doth come. And again, context to the whole chapter. But know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give him meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord when he cometh shall find so doing. Then we go on. Uh, Verily I say unto you that he will make him ruler over, ruler over all his goods. And then it goes on and talks about the evil servant. Verse 50, uh, you know, Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him in an hour that he is not aware of. But none of it. I mean, you're not going to find anything about a Christian in that whole, and you're not going to in the next one either, because chapter 25 starts out, then, then shall the kingdom of heaven, well, what's the kingdom of heaven? The literal, physical kingdom here on the earth. We're not living in the kingdom of heaven. We're living in the kingdom of God. It's the spiritual kingdom. When Christ returns, both kingdoms will be here. Okay? The kingdom of heaven has got nothing to do with it. And it goes on. You know, be likened unto ten virgins. Oh, ten virgins. Ten is the number of the Gentiles. So it's got to... No. Okay? There's a general rule, but you've got to be careful about what's being... Okay, these are virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet, meet the bridegroom. Well, he ain't marrying ten girls. Okay? Five of them were wise five. Well, okay, they're going to meet the bridegroom to lead him in a procession to the marriage where he meets his bride. Or the bride. Okay? These are Jews here in all of this. So anyways, we got quite a bit more to study looking at eternal security but uh, and we've got a lot more verses that we're going to look at that they will pull up and use uh, to try to support the fact that you can lose your salvation you know, but you have to ignore so many verses and it you know the thing is you have to go to the Paulian epistles the doctrine for the church is going to be found in the Pauline epistles. So you are looking from Romans okay, to Philemon. Uh, when you start getting into Hebrews and James, I mean, those are both definitely for the tribulation Jew. You get into the general epistles, 1st, 2nd, 3rd Peter, 1st, 2nd John, you've got some of both in there and again you got to be very careful in those uh the book of the revelation of jesus christ you know uh, again it, uh, that's the key as i've said so many times to understanding the whole thing uh, that, but we'll pick up with more of that next week heavenly father thank you lord for your word lord thank you that 
Or our duty, our responsibility as born again believers is to trust and believe your word. We don't look for signs, Lord. Uh, we aren't looking, Lord, for miracles uh, to be performed. Lord, we walk by faith and not by sight. Bless us now, Lord, as we go our separate ways. Keep us safe on the road, Lord, as we travel. Lord, I pray again, Lord, for both my wife Kathy and for Maria as they will be traveling tomorrow, Lord, that you will watch over them, protect them, or bring them safely to their destinations. And we pray and ask these things in Christ's name. Amen.